Good, how are you? How are you guys? You're coming back to Comic Con, you're proving yourself. How has been the reception been? Uh, it's been great. It was fun to hear them cheer for something they knew about as opposed to something they were hoping, you know. And we love, we love Comic Con. I mean, we've, we've been here a number of times with a number of different projects, and, and every time we come, um, we're very, it's just sort of, it's such a joyous thing for us. It's very nice to hear that people actually like the work that we're doing. Um, but but it, it was very gratifying to see them um, respond to our actors this time around. Yeah. And fun to see them see get that, you know. Last year they were sort of, we saw your picture once. Yeah. And this year they're going, you know. <laughs> That's great. That's fun. Um, so, kind of going into the story, at the end of the last season, Shield, as it is right now, which is just pretty much that ragtag team, does not have the resources, the authority, or anything that they had last season. How are you, I mean, how do you think, can you say, tell us anything about how this is going to proceed? We're absolutely embracing them being underground, and them sort of being driven underground. Um, Coulson was tasked with rebuilding Shield. How do you do that when something's completely At the end of the last season, he learned that the people he thought he could trust, he couldn't trust. And so this season, he's going to go in knowing that he has to work with people he doesn't necessarily trust. And so we can have up and running a lot of that stuff that gave us good momentum at the end of last season. So are you glad to be able to kind of write the second season without having to wait for a movie to come out before you can do your turn? Yes. The answer is we yes. We definitely feel more liberated. It's very nice to just freely say the word hydro. Um, to very clearly have a big bag. Um, so yes, it's a different. It's a different. It's been different in the writers' room than it was last season. Do you still want to embed like a big sort of shocker at some point in the season, like that sort of thing that nobody really sees? No, no, we want everything to be really boring. We want to sort of. We want to be on a track when you know where you're going, yeah. and then you get there. We want it sort of like a straight, but more procedural. Ride. Yeah, like a procedural but boring. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I, 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 we're being snarky, but the, but if, yeah, we're we're hoping that one of the things we can do now, which we were not allowed to do at the beginning of last season, is have a traitor in our midst and 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 have people betray us, and so there's a lot of fun that can be had with that, and, and, and it gives us a lot more story. Uh, it's a lot there, easier to generate. And there are many mysteries we sort of teed up in the season. This guy's father being one of them. So um, you may get to know who he is pretty soon. Are you able to, I mean, you know, Coulson's rebuilding, so he's going to be seeking people out. Right. So how much uh, leadway do you have to be able to say, hey, Coulson might go see Carol Danvers and she, she wants to come by? Or, Maybe so. We, uh, that's a cool question. We, uh, in terms of S.H.I.E.L.D., for the first time, we're sort of allowed to define what it is. Because we're going to reset it. In terms of building off of other projects or things in the universe, they have so much. I mean, they announced, you know, just this last few weeks, how many projects they have up and coming, and they know what a lot of them are. And some of them, they're just saving things, hoping that it'll work out. They have so much in the works. We have our database of characters we can use and, and places we could cross and opportunities. And so, if we can do it well, we'll do it. All. How about story synergy and Easter eggs with Adrian Carter? Like, are you guys really having a lot of conversation? How you can make this feel like a shared universe, even with the historical gap? Well, one thing that's nice about being the underdog and, and Coulson's new job is that he's rebuilding. This is a guy who's obsessed with history, loves the history of Shield. You know, you see it in his office. He has all his new dads. I think it's, it's a return to the old. Yeah, I, I was going to say that um, we'll be exploring sort of a return to the roots. 